to my new guitar nerdery video, chromatic playing or how to use all the wrong notes. Chromatic playing like they do a lot in jazz, it was kind of a mystery to me. I found it very cool sounding, but I completely didn't understand what was going on. I asked my teacher back then and what I've learned was Chromatic playing, you play a lot of nonsense stuff, but you have to know where the right notes are. And if it sounds wrong or right, depends on your phrasing, how you wrap up your idea. If I'm, for example, in B minor, there's one really wrong note in there, that would be the major third, for example. If I would play a phrase, a lick, and end on that note, it could be really misunderstood, or you could see it as a wrong note. But if I take the same note and use it actually as a leading note to the right ones. Then it sounds not so bad. But the most important thing is how you wrap up your idea rhythmically. I'm gonna play again in B minor here. And then I improvise with a lot of wrong notes. I just played a lot of wrong notes, but didn't sound so bad, did it? Because my rhythmical ideas, they made sense. And I also ended my phrases on the right notes. And if that still sounds like a mystery to you, I got a great idea, a great concept for you to get access to chromatic playing very fast and easy. Let's take that standard minor pentatonic pattern, this one here, in B. In that pattern, we have actually two edges. One edge is the one here in the seventh fret. All notes in the seventh fret on all strings can be played. And then we have a second edge that's here in 10th, 9, 9, 9, 10th, 10th. These two edges are the right notes and we use them both as kind of a frame. And now we're gonna fill in the gaps. On the low E string, the two notes that are within the minor pentatonic are B and D. <laughs> And there are two more notes in between that do not belong to the minor pentatonic. We can consider them as wrong. But now we're gonna play them also. And on the next string, we have those two notes and one wrong note in between. Actually the blues note, I call it wrong note now. And uh, next string again, one between, next again, one between. And then the last two strings, we have again two more notes we can add up. So this way, we play all the notes that are within these two edges.
And what you now already can hear is that it doesn't sound that wrong. I play alternately the minor pentatonic and then again with the added notes. <laughs> Here, I just added the wrong notes, but those two edges give you the information that it still has something to do with the minor pentatonic. And that's actually where we want to go. We play a lot of wrong notes, but we give always the information that we know where we are and that all the wrong notes lead to somewhere. And this filling the gaps concept is pretty easy to accomplish. You can start right now. With that concept, you absolutely know where the right notes are without learning the whole fretboard. The right notes are on the edges. And the wrong notes are those between. It's pretty fun. You can play a lot of nonsense and it sounds pretty cool. This was it for today. I hope that filling the gaps concept gets your chromatic playing started. I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe and I'm looking forward to see you next time. Thank you.